Okay, so this is our family dorm, but I do want to back up a second. Usually when I'm in a men's night shelter giving a tour, I explain to them the services that we offer, and I kind of skip through that. Um, I did mention the transportation we offer. We offer um, three meals a day. We offer clothing for you. We offer toiletries. If you need soap, shampoos, razors, toothpaste, we have washer and dryers on site that are free of use. We offer um, the laundry soap, so you don't have to worry about that. And um, we offer anything that you need at your house, we have here for our guests. So they don't have to spend any money to go out and buy stuff. Um, so we'll go back here. This is the family area. We have two areas. We have section one and section two. We are going to go in here because I don't think there's any families in here at this time. And we're going to do a quick, a little quick blurb in there. And we'll let you see what it looks like inside. Inside this family area is the living area where the families are. And then on this side of the building are three bedrooms and they can be set up with a queen size bed and a double or queen size bed, two bunk beds and a crib is how big they are. And then on the other side of the wall is their individual bathroom. So they, uh, they actually have their own bathrooms and their own bedrooms when they're here with a family. Unfortunately, well not unfortunately, fortunately we're replacing all the mattresses. So we had these stored in here um, for a couple days, but in this area is the playroom for the children to play in, and that is for both sides of the families um, to play in. And like I said, I do apologize. We have um, not much storage here, so we had to put our beds here for storage for this for the time being. Um, people ask, well, how do you get into the family room? In the family room, um, mom, dad, and children. If, unfortunately, if the dad is not on the birth certificate, he is in the men's night shelter and the mom is here with the children and vice versa. If it's a dad and a stepmom, um, the men, the mom or the dad is here and the woman is in women's night shelter. Um, if you're married and if you're married and um, the children are not the father, not the men, man's, they can all stay here because the mom and dad are actually married. But if it's a boyfriend-girlfriend situation, we see that differently. If it's a same-sex marriage, then both parents are here with the children. Um, as you saw, I was using these little keys to get into um, certain dorms. This whole facility is a lockdown facility. We are a 24-hour crisis facility, meaning our phones ring 24 hours and we answer it 24 hours a day. Um, we have secured facilities, so people cannot come in. So community members can't just come in to the family area or into the dining room or into the dorms whenever they want. They need a key to get in and out. Um, perfect example of an issue we had at one point, we had a family here and she was um, a domestic violence survivor and she opted not to go to my sister's house for where we house our domestic violence people. She wanted to stay here. That wasn't a problem, we said okay. She didn't think the father would come and bother her. Um, he came here at one point, dressed up like a police officer and tried to, you know, tried to get to her. Luckily, because of our, our security system, we were, she, he was not able to get to her. Um, at that point in time, we did call Statesville Family, um, Statesville Police Department and we advised her. We did not feel like she would be safe here and we told her that she needed to go to my sister's house. She, at that point in time, she didn't you know, argue the point, she did go. However, if we did not have a secured lock system here, she would have been in very much danger at that point. So that's why we kind of keep everything in lockdown. Now the families that stay here, they have their own little key that they can key in and out of. Um, these rules here are a little different. They can of course come and go. Um, they have to check in by 8 o'clock, and all school-age children have to be bathed and in bed by 9 p.m. Um, of course, they have to be school-age, because if you ever try to get a three-year-old to bed by 9 o'clock, then, you know, that's probably not going to happen. So, all school-age children in by 9 p.m. for bed. And that's kind of um, how the family area works. We'll set back out here. And like I said, we're always looking for volunteers once this whole COVID thing is behind us. We're hoping July 1st we're going to be open and running full staff, you know, full staff, full volunteers and donations for everything. Thank you so much for your time.